I was six years old when I first started playing tennis. Honestly, for me, it was love at first practice. All right, here we go. Yes, staying down through it, much better. What I love about tennis the most is competitiveness. I enjoyed the matches, the tournaments, the stressful situations, and winning. Love to win, hate to lose. Oh my God. Okay, that's okay. I think I was 14 years old when I turned pro, and when you're that young, you have a limited amount of tournaments that you're allowed to play on the pro tour, but I was lucky enough that I was playing really well already on the pro tour, so I got in a lot of matches at the limit limited number of tournaments. I think you, you have a really good swing volley and I think you can use it a little bit more. They call me a veteran on tour. I've definitely been around for a long time, but I'm still only 26 years old. I feel like being on tour for more than 10 years gives you definitely a lot of experience and knowledge and I think that's something that I can use in my coming years. 2019 was a really good year for me, finishing 19 at the end of the year, but everything went downhill from, from there on. I played really well in Australia, but I got a really bad injury. I had to have a knee surgery after that. It was very frustrating for me to not be able to reach and get back to that level, so I was definitely putting a lot of pressure on myself, but I'm happy I'm playing at that level again now. World number 77, Donna Vekic. San Diego was a really important week for me in more ways than one. I watched her play a qualifying match, and so we actually began our conversation with, would you like some input on a couple things that I observed? And she said yes. She and her son, they stayed throughout the whole tournament. They were at my every match, and when you have such a legend, you don't want to miss an opportunity to ask them, what do you think about my game? We kept talking, and I'm really happy that she's part of my team now. First tournament since my surgery that I played really at the level that I played before and you know, beating all these top players was a huge confidence boost. It's been such a long road back for injury for Donna Vekic. She is utterly, utterly elated. She finished 2022 on a really strong note. And so she was ready to tackle a new year with a new sense of confidence. That's the way to do it. For the first time in her career, she moves through to the quarterfinals of the Australian Open. Donna Vekic is the darling of Monterey. She has secured the title and beaten the top seed. Sometimes in my team, they make fun of me. They call me DV businesswoman. What are we going to do with the socks moving forward? Because the high socks were, uh, were a big hit in Australia. Yeah, I will make a note. Fashion has always been important to me. I've always enjoyed, uh, let's say, dressing up off the court, but really it was always important to me to look good on court as well. I think for Indian Wells, I'll probably go with the neck tank and the... Skirt? Yeah, probably pleated skirt. Partnering with Uomo Sport and creating the women's line Donna Sport has been an amazing experience. Donna means woman in Italian. To be able to be involved in the design process of my line and the things I'm gonna be wearing on court is something I'm very you know, grateful to be a part of and very happy that they want to hear my opinions. The feedback I got in Australia was amazing. Oh yeah, I love that. At, at this point in my life, I hope that the best years of my tennis are coming. I'm really enjoying my time on court, off the court. I have amazing team, especially in tennis. When you have good people to work with, you don't really feel like you're working, you're just really you know, enjoying. <laughs>